Fucking ants. Fucking ants. <clears throat> All right, what's up? I'm doing a five course dagger fuse Clapton. Yeah, kill that ant. I've been having an ant pro. Actually, every year, everybody in my neighborhood has an ant problem. And ever since I put this air condition in, it's like any little opening in it is an invitation for them ants to come in. And I, I don't think, um, I don't think it's too crazy to think that the vaping's kind of hurting it. it. It almost seems, uh, seems like they only go, like, on my build table. But, What's up, Mr. Baboon? GMAT. Kerry Michael. Yeah, I, I like the juices that I've been vaping now are very sweet. So let me get on to this because this is going to be... These are usually a long build, so basically what I did was I prepped four cores already. So this is going to be a five core stagger fuse clapped, and I already prepped four of the cores. So I'm doing 28 gauge cores with 38 clapped and around them. So what I do is I'm trying to get like seven or eight inches of finished wire. So I prep. 12 inches to start. So I stretch to get it straight. Cut off at 12. And there's like a new um, a new loop method that I kind of want to show you guys. So I'm using my drawstring clips. So I'm then. This is a bad view. Just trying to stay away from the air conditioner since it's so loud, but so I'm gonna get my core. Went to my swivel. Actually, no, before I do that, let me make my loop. So I'm going to start all over with my loop here. Just so I can show you guys what I'm doing. It's just making the loop method a little better, basically. So, I got my 38 gauge. That's what my spacing is going to be. So I'm going to get... About 10 inches of 38 gauge off my spool. I'm going to put it in my weight. I'm going to tie my knot. here what's up Mark Steve coils of Sweden coin 965 <clears throat> all right so I got my loop regular ass loop all right I'm gonna take the top of my loop 
and I'm going to get one of my drawstring clips. I want one that has a pretty good strong spring and I'm going to stick the loop into the clip and pull it out the other side. Alright, just like halfway. So now the loop is above the clip. Right there. Now I can prep my core. So I'm going to get my core on my swivel. putting spaces in my 38 clap thing. Then I'm going to get my loop, the bit that's above my clip, and I'm going to, just like regular with the loop method, I'm going to drop it into the last spot. into the last spot. Alright, and then after I drop it into the last spot, the last space made, come on. make do it what I got. So it's in my last space. I'm going to push my drawstring clip up tight to the core. As tight as I can get it. I'm going to clap them. Keeping my clap and wire tight to that loop wire. So basically just keeping a 90. I would really like to get zoomed in on this. There you go. I like this to be turned though. So it's running with the wire, not away from it, my clip. See how it's making that even space? Basically just keeping that loop very tight. 
to my core. So I don't have to worry about it hopping around or making bigger spaces. As long as I hold that 90, I'm good. Alright, so very important now, like I said, I cut 12 inches, but I only need like 7 or 8. So after I'm done clapping 7 or 8 inches, I'm done. I leave this empty. I'm going to cut my 38 off, get my loop off. Pours a little crazy. So straighten it out. And now I got five cores. So now I'm going to get my five cores. I just want to clean up. I kind of cut them all with a little bit of 38 hanging off of it. So I want to cut all that 38. I shouldn't have did that. I did it to every single one of them. It's just going to be a hindrance gonna get in the way if I don't cut them. Now, I'm going to get all five cores, get the ends lined up, just be careful because clapped in on round wire can move very easily. So I'm going to get this end here, and I'm going to get my five cores flat, and I'm going to get my hot glue. this end. Let's make sure they all stay flat. dry just yet. Yeah. 
after it's dry, I can cut this nasty shit off. Alright. So now I got my one end ready. Now I just want to run, I'm going to walk down this whole wire, making sure nothing's twisted, but being careful I don't mess up my spacing. nasty bends off of this end. And as you can see, there's at least two or three inches away from the clapton on my wire, and that's what I want. So now I'm going to hot glue these together right up on, right up here, just on the tip. Just the tip. Now, if your swivel hook isn't big enough to accept these, you might want to make something with 22 gauge. I guess I could show you something real quick. I think my swivel is big enough right now. But you could like bend something out of 22 to make sure. And I just touched that hot glue. What's up, G. Schultz, Crabtree? Yeah, this is going to stay for 24 hours, and I'm also going to try to put it up on my YouTube. I don't think I should have any problems putting it on my YouTube. Alright, so now, actually I'm going to try something a little different than what I was thinking. I'm going to go down like another half inch here. No, you know what? Fuck that. So I'm going to take my pliers. These angle pliers are awesome. And I'm going to bend my cores and just give it a little hook. And yeah, my swivel's definitely big enough for this. But, let's say if it wasn't, or you're doing more than six core or something. You could take some 22. Just a little piece. You don't need a lot. And you could kind of make like a little hanger. So I'm going to bend an angle there. Bend an angle there. Alright. So I made like a little fish, a little fish shape, and when they meet in the middle, you could twist. You can get it even tighter with two pairs of pliers. swivel and then your cores will hang on that I definitely could have made that a little smaller or you could hot glue it onto this piece it doesn't matter that's usually what I do is I hot glue it to the middle here but that just gives you a bigger hook there That works good for other big builds too. Sometimes you could put it through like this and it'll have two 
two parts of sturdy wire holding it. It's kind of hard to show. And then I'll glue both them intersection pieces. Yeah, he might. He might. I'm not positive, but he might. So now I'm just going to close in this so it doesn't come off my swivel. You can see that. I kind of closed it in. You can make that for your drill side too, that little thing, that little triangle thing. Get my cores and my drill as centered as I can, as flat as I can. Now when I pull tight, the wires are all straight. Now I'm just gonna pull these and bend it over my hook just to get it a little tighter. Maybe some are loose in the others. Now I'm pulling tight and you can see they're all nice and straight now. So as I got them nice and straight, I'm gonna hot glue this. closed. So this is doing two things. It's hot gluing it closed and it's holding my cores tight. And then I'm gluing them so, you know, it should stay tight for the most part when the glue dries. Because it's holding the tension there. Close up my swivel. So this unclapped in space here gives room for the claptons to slide up if they have to, which they're going to have to. I don't think I'm going to need any kind of like clip to hold these flat if you do something like how I did it. But, I will show you something you could use if you're having a problem. But this is really just fuse a little bit and crimp it. Fuse a little bit, crimp it. Fuse a little bit, crimp it. And that's just how these go. It takes a, it takes a good amount of time to get two coils, but it's worth it in the end. So, let's see how I did. So in the beginning, the um, the Clapton's probably ain't going to be the nicest in the beginning, but then they should get better and better, and the spacing should meet up good, which it looks like they do. Yeah.
Yeah, they look pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Yeah, that's um, Jubster. I did a straw. Um, Jubster has an awesome tutorial. I'm actually going to do a tutorial um, like that, but I actually did the straw method in my staple, in my staple tutorial. He does that straw method the best. Yeah, Jubster. Go check out his um, his uh, YouTube. It's an awesome st uh, Stagger Fuse Clapton tutorial. And he's like one of the best um, at them. But I'm definitely going to do a tutorial like that. I did it with my staple coil. So you could use that method with this. That's actually how that method was um, was brought to life. Was with the stagger fuse clapton. So I, instead of using a swivel. I could have just cut these at like 7 inches. These cores. And threw them in a straw. And uh, just stayed close to the straw as fusing. It works. It works very well. I need more practice with it. But yes, um, check out Jubster because uh, it's an awesome tutorial. And like I said, I mean he's one of the best at uh, many core stagger fuse clappings. I was really psyched when I seen that he had a uh, tutorial on YouTube. Yeah, Trial and Vape did, yep, yep, exactly, and he took that from Trial and Vape, um, he took that idea, I like his tutorial a little better than Trial and Vape, but, um, yeah, I mean, they're both awesome builders, and it's a, it was an awesome idea with the straws. The straw thing's kind of an, an uh, old school, like, technique. But, um, it still works very well for stuff like this. But he even gives credit to Trial and Vape in his video, too. Bill Beard, what's up? Eh, I guess I'll try this. We'll try this view for a little bit, I guess. Now uh, what's up, Jane? Shy shots in the house. The vaping read post. What's up? This stuff's really good. This and the lemon. So I'm gonna get my 38 gauge. And I'm just gonna start off by hand wrapping around my cores. Rich, what's up? And when I start off here, I know that my Clapton's ain't perfect where I start it, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This is gonna be the part where I wrap a bit and crimp it, so they kind of, um, they kind of stay flat. So this is just like a starting off point. I'm not going to worry too much about. So I'm going to go a little bit. I'm going to get some uh, toothless pliers and flatten. And this is going to give me a good foundation to start. like five more wraps, some pliers, crimp it again, a little more. Crimp it. Thank you. 
so this is the last time I'm gonna crimp it with metal tooth pliers because I don't want to mess it up now for now on I'm gonna use my um, nylons and really this is the build you just keep going as long as your spacing is good you don't want to put too much pressure on your fusing but you go a couple wraps get in there you crimp it down Yeah, I buy mine online. I just Google nylon pliers and buy the first set that pops up that's around ten dollars. <laughs> I think Beetleon has them too, the place that sells the um spool tamers. So I go about 10 wraps and then crimp it down. The spacing is very important with these. You don't have to worry about a lot if you got your spacing good. I fucked up a little there. So a tip that Jubster gives in his video is if you have to reverse it a bunch, you know how your wire gets a little curly. So just run your fingers down it to get it a little more straight. So you're not clapped in with like a slinky or something. But if you if you like what I just did there, I must have put too much pressure on my fusing wire and they bunched up a good amount. Back up and fix it because it'll it'll be bunched up the rest of the way if you don't. Prepping this build alone is a lot of work. You don't want to get so far on it and have a stupid mistake happen when you could go back and fix it fairly easy. It is a build that needs a lot of patience. Definitely not the easiest build, but you can get through it. Oh, you guys can't even see anymore. Alright, I'll switch.
I'll go a little more and try to show you guys a close up of what I got so far. Yeah, I was going to do the straw method, but I wanted to show, I wanted to have a video up of how I did it before I've seen the straw method. So, um, there's like, um, 13 minutes left of this video. You guys are going to get the gist from here. I mean, you guys have seen this much. This is pretty much just how the build goes. I'll still show a close-up in a second. Um, and I'll attach a picture of them wrapped up to the video that goes on YouTube. So you guys can see what they came out like. But, I don't know if that necessarily means, I'll probably still come back on to finish it, but this is probably going to be only uh, an hour video on YouTube. I'm definitely not crimping every 10 wraps, it's more every 5 rotations, every 5 fuse rotations I crimp, something like that. If you got to crimp ahead of the fuse, do it, but don't do it too hard. You don't want to mess up your spaces. But just do it lightly, and it'll get the job done. Got a little boo-boo down there, but... That's where I start it. Got some bad lighting.
And I'm pretty much at my halfway point. I'm almost at my halfway point. So, I think when I started fusing, it was about... Shit, I think it was 30 minutes ago. Almost 30 minutes ago. I think it was 20, 23 minutes ago. That's when I started fusing this. So that's when things are going pretty well. It takes 25 minutes to fuse one coil. When things are going bad, it could take much longer. And there's seven minutes left of this IG recording. But I'm going to come right back on, so... Redheaded bastard, what's up? Nothing really new, same old, same old, pretty much. Kicking ass, taking names, kicking ass, taking names. Um, you might need another swivel, if that's the case. Oil your swivels if you have old swivels. Do it with like 3-in-1 or WD-40. I use a uh, pneumatic nail or oil. Yeah, then it's the swivels. I read it. My team put me on to something about if you don't have like a USO meter, that the best swivels to get are croc, stainless steel ball bearing swivel swivels. Croc. K-R-O-K. Croc swivels. Stainless steel ball bearing. Nah, I think everything's going good today. I mean, other people would have to tell me, but I'm pretty sure I haven't had no problems over here. I mean, I don't know what you guys are singing. Alright, 20 seconds, guys. I'll be right back on, but this is probably as far as the video is going to go for YouTube. So, thanks for watching. Check me out on IG. Staple Stack Refuse Clapton. 5 Core. Peace. Um, you might not want what's in the case. I don't think there's anything in the case. Yeah, I took out what was in the case. I was actually using it for, um, 
for uh, transporting my stuff to work, like my mods and batteries and stuff. I took all the coils out. I actually got to make a bunch more coils. I actually have another bag like this full. But I'm making some coils for a raffle and they got to go out. What's up, Argyle? The Resistance crew is here. Oh, shit. You got five messages. That's how I roll. Now, what you got probably was, um, Nick's video will be shared for 24 hours, Nick's going live, and you probably got the other, uh, alerts. I guess for those that aren't in here, before I get started, I'll show you what I'm doing, but I mean it's a five core stagger fuse Clapton. And how did I lose my clip that quickly? There it is. You started a new team, redheaded. Yeah, you're going to go live tomorrow. Is this um Drew? check out um crate I don't know where he's gonna be doing it but obviously it could either be it could either be the resistance crew or crazy face McGee on Instagram check him out building live Actually, don't have much more. Probably on Crazy Face McGay. Yeah. Oh, so I went online today on my computer, and I go to, um, yeah, let's just call it a sabbatical. I went online on my computer on YouTube, and I go onto my videos, and there is a copyright, um, a copyright um, warning on five of my videos. So every video, first of all, I don't know if anybody's ever looked back at the videos I had up there before I started doing the builds. They were up there like from a year ago. But, um, they all have music in them. They all have like one song playing straight through. 
So those are all copyright. I had to, um, I went to go watch one and I had to actually take the music out and put in something from YouTube. I left the others up because I don't know exactly what they're telling me. I think they're just giving me a warning, like if you get sued, you know, we warned you. But, um, the Enigma coil, I had the radio in the background for a little bit. So that's a copyright. So I'm going to have to do that video over again anyway. I was going to anyway, so. And then the bat the battery wrap's the one that was really getting me mad. Um, luckily, it's only 20 minutes, and I could probably take it down, edit the music out, and put it back up. But that's the one that uh, really bugged me. Because it, it was just music. Right at the end, I put it in. And I knew I shouldn't have. But it's like only a 10-second clip of music. So I got a copyright warning on five of my videos on YouTube. But they're not necessarily taking them down. They're not ripping them down. And they're kind of telling me to take it down. But they're not making me take it down. So... I think it's more just a warning, like, listen, if we're going to put this on you, and if somebody sees it that owns the music, you know, we fucking warned you, which I doubt anything would happen, even if the person that made the music, you know, I don't think Primus is going to come after me because I put their, I mean, I give them credit in the comments and everything. They're not going to find it anyway, but even if they did... It's not like I'm passing the music off as my own or trying to make money off their music. So as there's so much of this wire that's like sturdy and then the four or then the five wires are going straight, the more I go and the closer I get to the swivel, the easier this becomes. It's kind of like, think about it, if I only did a four inch piece instead of a 10 inch piece, it would be easier because the ends would be sturdy closer together. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's getting easier and cleaner right at the end here. Plus the Claptons get to move a little bit better since I'm so close to the ends of them. I'm almost done. If I have time on this one, I may do the uh, Fralian for Brad also. And now, Brad, the Fralian that you want, is that for a mech? Because these are going to be for a mech. You want the Fralians for a mech, too? I could do either way, but... What I was going to build is mech ones, uh, ones that I really like. Stainless steel ribbon, nichrome, everything else. Eight ply. 28 frames. Mac, good. I have to fix the phone. I'm recording into my IG time. Alright. Alright, Drew, and thanks for the advice on the iPhone earlier. I actually, my brother actually has. He's just gonna fix it tomorrow.
He's actually really good with that stuff too. Gotta be patient and don't rush, and you'll get there. Oh, shit. This is pretty much done. I just want to get this little bit more out of it. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you guys too. So you guys remember my Claptons were like an inch to two inches behind. Oh, fireworks over me? I don't know. No, yeah. You always gotta take the family first. <laughs> Thanks so, man. Yeah, that's why it's good that I started recording, because lots of people do have families. and But look how close this is to the swivel now. They all moved up. And the swivel's right there. An inch or two instead of three or... Instead of three or one inch away. Or, I'm sorry. They're an inch or two away from the swivel instead of three or four inches away from the swivel. They slide up as you fuse and get wires in there. But this last part definitely went good. The one coil is going to be, um, should be damn near flawless. I'm going to do one more thing and flatten it out. Yeah, the one coil I don't think is going to be one mistake in it. Yeah, holy smokes, that went good. This is probably the cleanest 5 core I've ever done. You know what, guys? Let me wrap these up because if I wrap these up, get out of this video and save it, I could put this part onto my video also. And my video will only be like an hour and uh, 20 minutes long. And then I'll come back on. I just got to get out, save it, and I'll come back on and do the Fralians in a separate video. Cut off both ends. It's a very soft wire since it's just all 28 and 38. It feels like very light, very flimsy. It's like a piece of jewelry. You can make this a bracelet. Seven inches of this will go around your wrist. So 
So one more thing I do, I get it untwisted. Get my jeweler's block. I get my stainless steel mech. It's a clown praxis. And just like a pasta roller, I just roll this out. Just a little bit of pressure, you don't need much. And it's just gonna make it look a lot cleaner. It's gonna get all them fusing wires to sit in the uh, Clapton's nice. It just gives it a nice even look. Show you one more good shot. A wire porn shot. Yeah, the one coil is definitely going to be flawless, I think. Yep. I'm already moving on to the second coil. So there's a teeny tiny mistake there. Another small one there. Yeah, this is definitely the cleanest stagger fuse clap. Even even if a four core, I, I haven't done them this clean. I'm pretty happy with this one. just need you know what I was having trouble finding my three millimeter driver There it is. such a wide wire that you kind of got to angle it when you wrap it especially on the first wrap
So these are going to be best as five wraps, wraps, Brad. So I'm going to leave, or I said, what did I say, five? I meant four wraps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically... leave them as four wraps but there's going to be enough in there if for some reason you want to make them five wrap i wouldn't though i, I would leave them four Yeah, yeah, take some picks away, definitely. Definitely take more picks of the flawless one. This is the flawless one. Some massive weeds on there. Thanks, Chappie. These are five five pieces of 28 nichrome and then all 38 clapped in and fused nichrome. 28, 38 nichrome, pure atomist. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this video off, save it, and I'll hop back on. Uh, there's there's a couple teeny tiny mistakes that I, I don't worry about much, especially when I have one flawless coil like these mistakes. I'll still take pictures of these. I don't care. You'll see the one just right up top here. I skipped the space there. And then there's like another one right down here. All right, so let me um, hop off here, save this video. I'll hop back on and do the uh, mech fralians that I like a lot. All right, I'll be right back.